Hello everybody, and welcome to the rules and explanation of the newest series coming to the channel. The Pokemon Crystal No Healing Nuzlocke Challenge, the movie. Now, I normally wouldn't make a rules and explanation video as it's usually self-explanatory. However, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, what's this movie you speak of? And I'm going to get into that in a second. First of all, if you're new to my channel, my name is Jarrett, or Chroma as most of you know me as, and my channel is centered around Pokemon Wedlock Challenges. If you like those kinds of challenges and like to see when people really care about their Pokemon a lot and likes to use more unique Pokemon, definitely check out the many series on my channel and maybe consider subscribing for more Pokemon content. Back in January with the release of Pokemon Crystal on the Virtual Console, I was thinking to myself about how much I've talked about wanting to do a series on Crystal as I love the game so much. Pokemon Sun was still going on at the time and still is currently. Don't worry, it will be back soon enough. So I didn't want to jump into a new series right away, but I could not wait to play Crystal. So I thought of a new unique concept for a Pokemon series that to my knowledge has never been done before. A lot of people don't have the time to sit down and watch a 30 to 40 minute video every single day or every other day. So I thought how could I get around that and still make an engaging Pokemon series since there isn't an easy way to make short Pokemon videos. My answer was to do an entire playthrough, record it, give commentary like normal, and however, only show the highlights and make 10 to 15 minute jump cut videos made out of clips. Playing through the challenge as if it was a series I was doing in my own personal time, but was also recording on the side to share with you guys down the line. Obviously an idea like this wouldn't go over so well without first building trust with your audience, since in a Nuzlocke type challenge you have to show everything because it's easy to cut out what you don't want to have happen. And I understand that. However, I've been doing this for quite some time now, and have shown that I care a lot about what I do and would never do anything like that. And considering that I'm playing it as if it was my own personal Nuzlocke of mine, it really shouldn't matter what other people think. I'm doing this for me and to try something new and hopefully something exciting for everybody to watch. So this summer, starting June 2nd, you guys will be getting daily videos of a completely pre-recorded no healing in battle Nuzlocke challenge, consisting of 10 to 15 minute episodes making it easy for anybody to watch and keep up with. Little Nuzlocke shorts as I like to call them, coming together to make one big Nuzlocke movie. At least that was the idea. It will be running for 50 plus episodes documenting Crystal's journey through Johto and Kanto in an end goal to defeat Red. I really hope you enjoy this idea for a series. It was an experiment that I really wanted to try, and if it doesn't go over too well, it won't happen again. It was just for fun, and I really enjoyed the adventure that I had, and I can't wait for you guys to follow along with it. I really hope you guys will like it too. The current series will not be affected by this. I will still be uploading those as I make them and as much as I can get them out. This series will have no effect on that. This is already a done deal. Now before I go, I'm going to quickly go over the rules I'm using for the series as I usually do wedlock challenges, so I wanted to quickly go over what I am playing with for this specific series. First of all, no items may be used from the bag in battle, except for Pokeballs of course, hence the no healing part. The battle style must always be on set. I'll be playing with the level limit consisting of 9, 16, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50 for the Elite Four, 58 for Blue, and 75 for Red. Species Claws, Gift Claws, and Shiny Claws are all in effect. My previous game, Claws Returns, it's a clause I created in which Pokemon I have used in the past for a decent amount of time are no longer allowed. However, any Pokemon who gain an evolution in a future generation that I didn't use their Johto stage do count for this series. A PNG is in the description showcasing those Pokemon. Be warned, it will contain major spoilers for a lot of my series. I must fight every single trainer, but since this is a different type of series than normal, they won't all be shown, but they were all far. The bug catching contest is one free encounter. Entei and Raikou do not count. If I run into them, I must run away. It doesn't have any purpose on our playthrough. However, Suicune must be knocked out. Celebi, since it's a special thing in the Virtual Console release, is a free encounter, and I can and will catch it. And finally, one new clause I will be playing with, it's something I created for this series, it's called Interactable Claws. It means any Pokemon found in the overworld, being interactable Pokemon, are free to catch. And that covers it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And if you're excited, let me know. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys think of the series. I had a lot of fun with it, and I really hope you guys do too. I'll see you guys soon on June 2nd in Johto.